Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe as I will be posting tutorials every Friday. You can hit the notification bell so that you are notified of when those videos go up. Today we will be working on this fall leaf. We'll be working on our wet and wet technique. All the supplies and the reference photo will be listed down in the description below. So let's just get right into the video. And I am going to be trying out this Etcher uh, Perfect Sketchbook today just to see how I like it. This is 100% uh, cotton cold press watercolor paper. So I thought um, this nice leaf and doing the, a wet and wet sort of technique here would be um, really nice to try on this paper. So I'm just going to go in, pick some colors that I want to use. The picture that I have today got from either Pixabay or Unsplash. So if it is royalty free, I will link it down below in the description. Um, and so it's sort of got like an orangey red and sort of like a dark purplish red. So I'm going to try to bring those colors out. So I'm just going to go in and start, start getting my colors ready. As always, I like to sort of have them somewhat ready to go so I know at least what I'm going for in my colors. And I want to make this orange just a little bit brighter so I'm also going to add, this is the cadmium orange hue and I'm going to add some cadmium yellow hue to that too just to make it a touch brighter. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my cadmium red hue because there is some spots where it's a nice bright red. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my alizarin crimson red and get this to go too, because there is a few spots that do have a really nice um, deep cool red. And those are gonna be the main colors that I'm sort of adding in. I'm gonna get some more of this orange. I'm just gonna orange this back up a little bit. Okay, so those will be the main colors that I drop in right away. And then as we let those spread and everything, we can kind of adjust to see um, if we want to add any other colors in. I am going to add like sort of a purplish red, you know, up here and over here because I do see those colors in the reference. So I'm just going to start by adding some fresh water, just clean water to this so that it gives it us a little bit more time to drop our colors in and to blend them and to work. So I really like to start most of my watercolor pieces, unless it's going to be a really detailed piece, but even then I usually like to start with the wet on wet technique. And I'm trying to get up as close to the edges as I can. I have lightened my sketch, so I've just taken my kneaded eraser and lightened it up. Every time I sit down to paint, the cat wants attention. <laughs> so I do apologize. It never fails. He wants to be in here with me, but he wants to be up on my lap. And I'm just going to go over it again just to make sure I've got a really good base layer of water down everywhere. We don't want, you know, a puddle of water anywhere, but I want it to be nice and shiny. So I like that. 
And there was a, a little light color in my brush, but that's fine because it's sort of, it's helping me to see where the water is going, where I'm putting it. So I don't mind that because this is all gonna get covered up anyway. There. So because this is cotton paper, sometimes it takes a little bit longer um, to wet it because the, the water really sinks into the paper. So you can really give it a good, good wet. And I think that's about it there. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to start with our orange. I think I'm going to start dropping in this orange color. And I'm just going to drop it in everywhere that I sort of see it. Now the colors might not be, you know, completely accurate. These are just the colors that I've picked. You can pick whatever colors that you feel inspired to use for your leaf or whatever project that you're working on, whatever design, whatever picture that you're working on. And then I'm going to take this warmer red and start dropping that in. I see that over here on this side a bit. sort of see it, you know, in the middle-ish, going to some of the edges. Okay. And I'm dabbing off the excess water because we've got water on here and there's water in our color too. Now I'm going to take that cool red and I'm just going to start laying that down too. So this was our alizarin crimson. And I'm just trying to make sure that it's as close to the edges as I can get it. Going back in with that orangey yellow color and just making sure I'm getting those edges. I'm gonna go back in with just the cadmium orange hue just get up to a couple of those edges that I feel like was missed. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit of dioxazine purple and mix that in with the alizarin crimson. And 
And I'm going to take just a hint of phthalo blue just to sort of tone it down. And maybe a hint of neutral tint to sort of darken it up a little bit. There we go. So we've got a really nice dark purple and I'm just going to start dropping this in to places where I see it. Going back in with that cadmium orange hue. And I'm just going to drop it in in a couple places that I sort of want to bump up that orange hue. Because at this point, we've got all of our color down. This is sort of the stage where you want to go in and figure out, you know, do I want to change anything? Do I want the colors to mix more anywhere? Um, because it's sort of like, you know, there's some browns, like the orange will mix into that and sort of make like a, a brownie color. I'm gonna take that alizarin crimson and just drop this in in a few places. I want it a little bit brighter. And where I see the color starting to puddle up, I'm just going to take a dry brush and get rid of some of that. Because as it starts drying, where this is pooling, it can cause a back run and bleed. So as long as we're getting rid of these little pools of color, as we're going along, we can keep fussing and keep adding to it. Okay, so I think I'm going to just get a little bit of that orange here and I'm going to add in this cadmium yellow hue uh, down here just because it's a little bit more yellow than orange. So we'll get that going in there. I'm going to just drop this in a few spots to start brightening it up. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that orange. And just drop a little bit in over here. So really at this point you can do as much as you want or as little as you want. The main thing is you just want to try to keep the, the paper as wet as possible if you're going to keep dropping colors in. Okay. I sort of like where this is. I like where the colors are blending. I like the vibrancy of them. So far this paper's staying wet pretty nicely for a sketchbook, you know, for sketchbook paper. 
So I think what I'm going to try to do is take the end of my brush now and I'm going to try to create some veins in the flower. Um, so I'm going to move this water palette out of the way and I'm going to try to create those um, vein strokes so that as this dries we'll have something that we'll create. Oh, I just see a little bit up here starting to pool so I'm going to get rid of that. And right here. Okay, so we'll start creating our veins. So this is where the stem goes. Um, we'll do the stem after. And I'm just gonna start just creating some lines. And what this will do, we'll let the paint seep into those lines and make it like darker. And it will just create some dark lines and I'm just tapping the color off each time after I've done it. So I'm just trying to go from this center point out to the end. And I'm trying to curve them at the same time. And this is a really neat way just to create some Some fake veins in your flowers. If you're looking for a little bit more realism, if you don't want to do it this way or you don't have a brush that has a nice point, you could cut up uh, an old gift card and use that. I've seen, um, I think it's Lindsay the Frugal Crafter do that. Um, I like, I have this really nice point to the end of my brush, so I like that. Um, or you could wait until this is dry and then just go on top with some more. Um, some more fine, like with a fine line brush. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start doing some lines out like this. And you can do as much or as little of this as you want. I think this adds a really nice fun touch to it. Be sure not to press too hard because you don't want to ruin the paper. And you have to do this sort of while the paper is still wet. Otherwise, um, the paint's not going to flow into these. If you did this while this was dry, then um, then the paint's not going to flow into those areas. So you got to kind of do it while it's still wet a little bit. And I'm just trying to follow them where I see them on the reference photo. If they're not perfect, it's not the end of the world. This is just, you know, for fun to try some new techniques. it's getting there and you can see the colors are blending just beautifully 
on this. Okay, now you see it's starting to get a little bit dry there. So I've got sort of a white line instead of, you know, the darker lines that I've been getting. So I notice that it's it's starting to dry a little bit. So I've got to be a little bit careful and I'm just going to try to get, you know, some extra little scrigglies here because this um, isn't typically, you know, as smooth. There's still little lines, but I think this is where I'm going to leave it like that. So I really like how this is blending. Um, this paper is quite nice. It hardly buckled at all. The colors are blending just beautifully. You can see we're getting some nice transitions. Now this is at the point where it's starting to dry. I'm just going to leave it because I'm starting to get, you know, some white when I'm doing this technique. I can't add any more color at this point. If you want it to go on top and add some more color, I would let this completely dry and then you can go on top and do that. But right now I'm going to move down and work on the stem. So the stem's basically just going to be a brownish color, a brown. So I'm going to go in with, um, I'll pull this back over here. If you can see it here, let me move this out of the way and I'll push things back over. Um, there, okay, you can kind of see. So I'm going to go in with my Indian red and I'm just going to to have sort of a red tint to it. And then I'm going to go in with some burnt umber. And just darken that up. There, I like that. Now, if you want to go down to a smaller brush for this, I've been using a size 8. This brush, however, does come to a nice little point, so I can get, you know, some smaller um, strokes in there. But if you're unable to, I would go down to, you know, a size 2, size 4, whatever you need to, depending how big you've drawn out your leaf. And I'm just going to cover this stem. Now, I'm not going right up to where our leaf is at first. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space there. Okay, and as I'm coming back up, I'm just ever so lightly going to touch there and just let a little tiny bleed go. Okay, so it's you can see it's just bleeding a tiny little bit. And it's not going to spread much because there's not too much water in with that, but it, it's going to spread just a tiny bit. So there, I think we'll leave that at that. I will come back and show you um, the finished piece once it's all dried up, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was a really quick, fun, easy way to do um, leaves. Now, if you want to come back and punch it up with a second layer of colors, just make sure your first layer is completely dry. You could also go on top with uh, colored pencils, watercolor pencils, 
um, you know, things like that. But I just wanted this to be a nice, quick, easy tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below um, what sort of other things you would like me to do, what other tutorials you want to see, um, what's your favorite mediums that I've been using, do you want to see more colored pencil, watercolor pencil, watercolor, or do you want me to mix them all together? Um, I've got a couple of tutorials of that either coming out or they're already out. If they are, I will link them, um, but let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.